welcome to my mini series. I'm Zoe Pocock from Muck and Brass. In this mini series, I'm going to be showing you some upcycling projects that you can do at home with things you find around your house. Today, I'm going to be showing you two projects you can do with some old toys, an old lamp, and a block of wood to make toy towers just like these. Here's a few things you're going to need. So let's start by turning on and plugging in your glue gun, leaving it to rest in a safe place. Obviously these are very hot, so if your children there doing this project, please get an adult to do the gluing part for you. You can get some cold glue guns, and I suggest that. I'm gonna start with the wooden block first. It's the same principle when we do the lamp, but I just wanna show you on this part first to make the toy tower. So in my pile of toys, I'm just gonna split them up into large, medium, and small. We're gonna be working with the larger toys first. This is gonna give your base the structure and strength it needs to start to build your tower. Taking some of the larger toys, I'm just gonna arrange on my base without gluing, just to see if I like how it starts to look. So once you've started to arrange the larger toys on the base and you like the look of it, start gluing them on. So I'm gonna use a pea-sized piece of hot glue and I'm gonna hold it for about 30 seconds until that sets. Now if you get toys that touch here, I'm gonna suggest you put a small amount of glue in between. As you can see, I'm building that structure going round. I think I have that one there. Now, if you get this stringy bits of glue, pull them off as you go, because if you're going to spray paint these at the end, it really highlights all those bits of glue that we didn't pull off. So now I'm gonna move on to the medium-sized toys as we start to build up. Again, just seeing how I like them sitting there first. And once I like them, I glue them on. Just go crazy now, because even though that doesn't look very nice, it's a nice shape. Um, once you put it on and actually spray it, after I can show you on some of these, there's some funny looking shapes here. Once you spray it, it really does look completely different. It really does look like a piece of art. Now I'm gonna go onto the smaller ones and just sort of fill any gaps where I think it needs it. Love this little wheelbarrow. So now we're gonna use the same principle as this. So starting with large, medium, and then small on the lamp. So now you know how to do this, or you know what you're aiming for. Let me show you on the lamp. Let's put that to one side till we spray it. So I'm gonna use this lamp. Um, before I start though, I'm going to cover where I don't want the spray paint to go later. So I'm just gonna take some low tack tape and cover the light fitting. Okay, and on the wire. Now to save tape and make it a little bit easier for you, just put it long ways and then wrap it around. Okay, now we're ready to start. So again, I'm gonna take some of the larger toys and just rest them around and see if I like the look of it. One thing I'm gonna show you um, is if you're gonna use dolls or toys with hair on, um, I suggest cutting this off, especially if you're gonna spray paint them because the spray paint really doesn't stick to it. You've still got a lovely doll there and a toy and it looked great spray, great spray painted, but the paint will ruin your lovely lamp if it doesn't stick very nice. So I'm just gonna take all that off and the same with the hair. Just cut as low as you can. I might even put a hat on this one. So I think you get the idea. Here's one I did start earlier. This is the one I made on our Instagram Live. I'm gonna add a few more bits to this though, especially around the back. And then I'm gonna use this one to show you how I prime it and then color it to make it into the lamp. 
There we go. I think that's it. So let me tell you how you're gonna prime. Hold the spray can quite closely. And move fast. If you stay still too long, you'll get drips. Okay? Leave that to dry. So once your primer's dry, take your color of choice. Today, I'm using this raspberry pink and go spray it. Spray outside or in a well-ventilated area and wear a mask. And there you have it. I'm gonna take off the tape that I used. With these ones here, I put some air plants in and some pictures. So you can really jazz these up, especially the toy towels after. What these are great for is if you've got some old toys and you really don't wanna chuck them away and they meant something to you, you can create this lovely piece of artwork of your memories. Well guys, thank you for watching the first in this series of upcycling crafts you can do at home. Find us on our Instagram at Muck and Brass and tag us in your amazing makes. I hope you join us in our next episode. Until then, I'll see you by the pool.